<laughs> okay. Yet another Monday morning. Uh, good day. I'm with Leslie Salmon, Peter Lang. Um, Leslie has been was our third tour driver. Yes. Mike Farley, Chris Sturmer, then Leslie. And she's still here, which is amazing. <laughs> she's a great benefit and a wonderful advocate. And the reason I'm using Leslie in this particular shot is she was here when Zahara mm -hmm. came here 14 years ago from Africa. Just about. And, you know, so Leslie knows this cat intimately. And uh, so it's kind of fun to have her here and to be able to talk with her about, you know, such things. You know, one of the things people ask me quite often is, why don't we have big cats, leopards, lions, tigers? And I tell them, one, tigers are not African and all our mammals are African. Uh, two, uh, lions and leopards are a whole nother thing. And, uh, I try and keep things that will not eat me and cheetahs sort of fit really well in that picture uh, where nobody's gotten hurt nor is anybody likely to get hurt. Right. Um, Leslie, what, what do you have to say about Zahara and you know, your time spent with her? Yeah. Sahara has been a real joy for us. She uh, did come, you brought her from South Africa. Yep. And so yep. she's really special. And uh, she came from a facility that had gotten her started training. And by the time she got here, she was fairly habituated to people. And we did some more training with her. And she's probably our most uh, personable cat in terms of liking to interact with people. Yeah. So she's the most interested in coming and being near the guests when they're here at Safari West. So you can see she comes and sits behind the roses and enjoys everybody. And she's got the greatest purr. She'll purr for people if they stand quietly and listen for it. So she's just got a real nice outgoing personality and she's been a great cat to take care of. Good, good, good. Now that's, uh, no, that's wonderful. And, uh, you know, we've, we've had a very difficult time breeding cheetahs. Mm -hmm. And they are not the easiest things to breed in captivity. They're highly endangered in the wild. Lori Marker, who has the Cheetah Conservation Center in Namibia, who comes here every year and does a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Fundraiser. A fundraiser, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, one of the most remarkable things is I remember this fall, uh, Laurie saying to me, cheetahs were down to 7,500 in the wild. And I talked to her as soon as the meeting was over, and I said, Laurie, you t last time we talked, you said there were 15,000. Mm -hmm. And she said, yeah, that's how endangered they are. So it's important that we breed them in captivity. Um, it's not for genetics. They really don't have much genetic diversity. I remember, oh, probably 30, 35 years ago, talking to a, uh, a German doctor, veterinarian, who had done um, skin grafts on approximately 100 cheetahs, just randomly, taking skin from one and grafting it onto another. And over 90% of those grafts took, which is highly unusual. Um, but there was so little genetic diversity that it didn't really seem to matter. And, uh, you know, the 10% that failed may have just been because of circumstances and not perfect medicine at the time. So that's what's really given us the uh, impetus to try and, you know, try and get cheetahs to breed. And I believe we have five here now, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. And uh, two, what we hope are breeding females and two are what we hope are sexy devil males that That's will right. breed those females. That's our hope. All right. Well, you know, I can, you know, we're sitting here listening to her purr. I doubt that you're picking that up, you know, but, but uh, it's a pretty nice sound, pretty neat. Well, you know, I think that'll do it unless Leslie has something else to add. No, I just hope everybody, when we're open again, can come back and take a minute to come and say hi to Sahara and listen to her purr up close. Okay. Look forward to seeing you guys whenever it is. Talk to you next Monday. Bye-bye.
You know, I'm, I'm just watching Leslie. Uh, she and Zahara are old friends, and uh, it's kind of neat to just see uh, see that sort of bonding. 